Hey everyone, welcome to Whiskey and Synths. My name's Dave and this is the channel that blends the world of whiskey drinking and music making. So thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we've got Rachel K. Collier, who's one of my favorite artists, favorite YouTubers, and she is giving you guys tips on live performance, how to get over nerves, how to build a live set performance stage, all that stuff. So if one of your goals during lockdown is maybe to build a live set, this video will help you. Uh, hope everyone's doing well in lockdown hope you're staying safe happy healthy uh, all's all right here things going okay so uh, yeah thanks for tuning in let's get straight into the video and if you like this remember hit subscribe hit the bell button ding that'll really help uh, the channel here grow and deliver more content like this we've got loads of videos like this coming up thanks for tuning in we're at the edinburgh festival of sound so uh welcome rachel Thank you very we much. We loved your talk earlier Thanks, on live Steve. performance. Yeah, thank you. Using Ableton and that. So yeah. lucky to have her on the channel for a few extra tips because if you couldn't make it to this, here's some extra tips. So we're going to ask Rachel some questions. Like, okay, let's do it. So we're wondering, what do you think the best tip uh, for someone starting making a live set? If they've just made their tunes, they've yeah. produced it, they're happy, and now they want to start performing live. Yeah. Best tip. I mean, it can be super overwhelming. Totally. You're like, where the hell do I begin? So I would go down the rabbit hole on YouTube and yeah. try and find as many live performances with Ableton that you can find, make a playlist and watch them all and just try and take things, just make notes of not like how to do it, whatever they're doing, but just things that you like mm -hmm. and just um, basically get some inspiration before you begin. That's great advice. That's I, what I've done as well, yeah. Yeah, because you I feel like- you got any favorite ones to watch? Um, Oh God! I mean, apart from my own vids, not yeah. jokes. Oh, oh yeah, we'll tag <laughs> put in the link. Um, um, no, I. To be honest, I'm trying to think how I even began. I literally just went for it and like started separate stuff. Yeah. But I, you know, majorly inspired by the energy of of Grimes. Oh yeah, you know? amazing. Because I feel yeah. like with live performance as well, this isn't like slightly on the on the same tip. Yeah. You can get lost in the tech, and I mm. I said this in my talk today. You know, remember when you take this in front of an audience you do need to interact with them as well. Yeah. And I think that's something she does really well. She combines, you know, the tech nerdy shit with then interaction with the crowd. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Cool, good stuff. Yeah, and some of my favorites, there's like Legovel and like Kink oh, as well. Some of my favorite, Kink. they've got some pretty cool videos so and set up as well. Yeah. Kink live a couple oh, of times. Yeah. And Enjoyed I, it? The first time I watched him, I didn't know who he was. It was I was in Amsterdam and he blew my mind. Yeah, same. Um, I was in some club in Glasgow and it was like, oh, it was incredible. And he's like the happiest guy ever as well. Yeah. He's just like <laughs> But he but if you watch him, he's all about interactive. Yeah, totally. You know, like it's, it can be little things that you do, but if they can like people can engage with it straight away, I feel that's that's like um a satisfying live show to watch, you know? Definitely. So that's a great tip. Just do your research, get on YouTube. Do your research. Uh, there's tutorials out there and loads of uh, kind of actual there's performances. There's so much stuff out there. And, uh, like, go on down Whiskey and Synths and on Rachel's channel, there's a few more things that there's, might help you out as well. So, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. link to your channel below as well. Yeah, thank cool. you. Cool. So we'll do a couple other questions before we let you shoot off. Uh, one of them, we were wondering, what's your favorite effect to use when you're uh, performing? Favorite life? effect is probably the auto filter. Oh, it's yeah. just got so much versatility. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like the different LFO patterns, the different shapes, the different things, things that you can MIDI map with the auto filter. I feel like you can create so many different textures and on everything. Yeah, totally. So vocals, synths, drums. Uh, so yeah, auto filter. Oh, great tip. Yeah, absolutely simple but simple, effective. Simple but yeah, effective. Definitely yeah. cool. <laughs> uh, one, maybe do one last question. This is one that I find even coming to do this event and filming here, and we're hosting our own bigger event of this today. Yeah, I get nervous. I get My tummy nervous. feels sore. I'm kind of like, oh, sweating. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a yeah. long day. I get nervous. Any as well. tips on getting over those nerves or anxieties um, of doing an event? Either, yeah, any. And this really could apply to you as a performer, or a promoter, or just yeah. organizer. Any tips on getting over those kind of nerves? So I used to struggle with nerves a lot more. Mm -hmm. Like I said in my talk today, when I first did this in front of people, it was just terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I feel like my tips, my tips are just try and from from early days even with a basic set really basic set, yeah. perform to anybody good like idea your nan your auntie you're gonna feel like a fool <laughs> but you know make the effort to take some speakers a little mixing desk yeah because 
there's that is something you cannot practice Aye. so if you just try to say yes to the you know the non-paid gigs at the beginning just yeah. because you should get used to it even in the basement of a local pub or anything, whatever yeah absolutely anything yeah, totally. and then like even if you know because th- those are skills that you can only learn on the job and like i used to be sort of think oh yeah but i want to be booked for these massive festivals and my manager would be like are you joking you've <laughs> done nothing you need to play to two people in the pub down the road yeah and build up to it and at, at the time i'd be like oh yeah but i don't i just want to play to like you know because i built yeah. social media following okay, you sort yeah, of sure, think oh yeah. right okay like but actually uh yeah I really like gr- uh, thankful for the it's quite good the, real advice effort, real world advice yeah but, that but, I put but in. you felt harsh at the time but kind yeah, of good w- advice really. honestly everything my uh, I've had quite a few managers but my current manager said at first I might be like <laughs> hell man uh, you know but then now I'm like oh god yeah he was right he was oh, right well. you know so I would say to get over nerves it's really just experience and and also this is an uh, I still yeah, get yeah. nervous for shows yeah. and um I can't really eat like uh, like a f- few hours before. I feel that as well. Yeah. You can just sore tummy like. Ugh. But it's horrible and actually it does affect you. So I'd say on the day of a show, just make sure you have a massive breakfast. Eat properly. Oh, breakfast, yeah. Or something that's like good, that yeah. because when it starts to get like three, four hours before, that's it, and I can't eat. And yeah. I actually did a tour and I got so nervous for this one show. Yeah. I couldn't eat anything in the day oh, and um, I, I got through the show, but I almost passed out after it oh, because no, I was that's so. Not good. Like, you can't sustain that. Either, yeah. yeah. So and I lost quite a lot of weight because oh, yeah. it was like my first tour and I yeah. was just so nervous. Yeah. So I clocked it though. I was like, this isn't actually good for my hormones. Yeah. As in like, with, it makes them nerves worse. In yeah. A way. Yeah. So just have a massive breakfast. I like that. Everyone loves that. Like and it. yeah, just try and just take any opportunity you can in the early stages to yeah practice feeling nervous in front of people yeah cool yeah oh great advice there so thanks Thank Rachel you. Thank like I say we'll link to her music uh, and videos down below yes. enjoy the rest of the festival thank you very much thanks for Have everything a good night. see you later yeah see you later so everyone I really hope you liked that video of Rachel today loads of insightful tips and that was shot at the Edinburgh Festival of Sound which I was so happy to be a part of and can't wait for next year and we've got other videos from that coming up as well so if you don't want to miss other videos from the Edinburgh Festival of Sound uh, remember to hit the subscribe, hit the bell button, that'll keep you tuned in, as well as other videos we got. We've got a video coming up demonstrating the Moog Rogue synth from 1981 uh, and loads of other stuff. So looking forward to showing you that. There's other ways to support the channel down below if you want t-shirts or anything like that as well. And also, you might have noticed we do a video every two weeks at Whiskey and Synths, every two weeks. Uh, But my brother, James, also does a video every other two weeks doing synthesizer performances, live kind of electronic on Synthwave uh, so uh, every week you can get content from me Dave Maitland James Maitland and brother uh, tune into his channel here I'll link it below because I think you'll like that as well so thanks for tuning in everyone thanks to Rachel thanks Edinburgh Festival of Sound enjoy your whiskey enjoy your synths and I'll see you later